Everything about the takeoff and flight is perfect. A bigger window gives the captain such a view he fell behind on his cockpit checks. He controls the flight of his capsule as did Commander Shepard, something the Russian astronaut did not do. His flight carries him 118 miles aloft and 303 miles downrange. During the 16-minute flight, he hits a top speed of 5,280 miles an hour. Helicopters take off from the carrier Randolph to pick up astronaut and capsule as his parachute is sighted. Then the heartbreaking finale. As Captain Grissom prepares to leave the Mercury, the explosive bolts let go and blow off the escape hatch cover. While a helicopter tries vainly to keep the capsule afloat, Grissom is forced to swim clear of the whirling blades so that another craft can pick him up. He's underwater for three minutes on a tense, real-life drama. Captain Grissom is hauled to safety in a sling, again emphasizing the fact that concern for the astronaut is always of prime importance in our space program. While he is rescued, the other helicopter wrestles with the water-filled capsule, but the weight is too great. It has to be cut loose to rest on the bottom of the sea three miles down. A cheering crew on the Randolph welcomes the captain back to the carrier. The nation's second man into space was able to send back invaluable data that pushes forward our program despite the loss of the films and other information aboard the sunken capsule. A salute to Captain Grissom, our new space hero.